fun, huh? Yeah. How you doing tonight? Okay. See, now I knew I knew no one was gonna clap, which which is why I brought well first I'm gonna explain how you do it when I say that. I say, how you doing tonight? And alright, we're gonna get some watch this now. How you doing tonight? I told you that piece of trash would work, Bill. <laughs> yeah. How you doing tonight, Mr. Twinkie? I'm pretty good. How are you tonight, Tof? It's Mr. Twinkie, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tof, I have a friend I'd like to introduce you to. Oh, really? Yeah, a good you... friend of mine. Her name is Lamb Chop. Lamb yeah. Chop, come on up here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. Yeah, 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 Lamb Chop, yeah, yeah, we love you, we love you. Uh, Lamb Chop will be back in a little while. Uh, You're not dating her, are you, Mr. Twink? Uh, no, 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 I'm making her dinner uh, tonight. And, Great. Yeah, uh, you know, just hanging around, puppet talk, you know, that kind of thing. It's, it's good to hear. Well, yeah, 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 it's good to say. Tonight on the show, uh, we're going to return with some Mark Howard, who's the uh, teacher of the Trinity Irish Dance School in Western Springs, Mark Howard. A band by the name of Brick Street, am I not correct in saying Brick Street? And some other fine, fine guests who are just gonna pop out of nowhere. So let's take a little break and we'll come back with some more color TV. Bill? Thank you, Bill. Again, that was very beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Mark Howard. Mark, how are you doing? Are you doing? <laughs> now, Mark, you run the Trinity Academy of Irish Dancing, is that not correct? Yep. And you run the, the school out of three locations. Yeah, we have uh, Western Springs, uh, Palatine, and uh, the northwest side of Chicago, the Irish Heritage Center up there. And the Western Springs is in the Grand Avenue. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Grand so, Avenue School. I've been there about seven years. So Irish dancing is basically what? Irish dancing is traditional Irish dancing. Uh, it's a progressive sort of art form. We actually have started a dance company now, the American Irish Dance Company. And uh, it is the, uh, actually the, the uh, four, what's the word I'd want to use? The uh, forerunner of, of American tap dancing the way you know it today. Um, clog dancing, square dancing, a lot of these things have all come from traditional Irish folk dancing and, uh, and they're what we call hard shoe dancing. We, they, the tradition in Ireland was to pound little nails into the, the shoes. That's While your got, feet were in them? Yeah, exactly. And, and that's why they're, you know, they're such a depressed race. <laughs> but um, no, they, they, uh, that is, that's where the, uh, the idea for taps came from, you know, in, on vaudeville back in the late 1800s. Wow. Well, that must have hurt kind of. But. <laughs> So the, so your company, actually, your dance company was actually the first, you guys went overseas to Ireland for the contest. Yeah. The it's, it's an Irish dancing is unusual in that it's a, a very competitive thing. A lot of ethnic dance groups, I don't think they have competitions, but 
We uh, have a World Irish Dance Commission in Dublin, Ireland that sanctions the Australian Championships and the you know New Zealand and the American and the Canadian and uh, most of the countries in the world actually. Wherever any Irish have settled over the world, there's you know a Mrs. Murphy somewhere teaching Irish dancing <laughs> in a basement, and they've uh, they've set up all these championships that all lead up to this one big world championship. And the kids have won um, um, seven world titles. They they wow. they've won two first place world titles, and in '87 they were the first Americans to ever actually take the first place, you know. By from themselves, the Irish, yeah. fr from America, and uh, so that led to a lot of other neat things for the for the kids and for wow. the school. Well, that's best of luck to you with that. Your your group also did a a birthday party in the Catskill Martin Mountains wow. for some nutty guru. For, no, she's not. <laughs> she's not that nutty, actually. She's um uh, actually uh, supposedly a living saint, and uh, we were kind of skeptical about it ourselves, but. Um, somebody had seen us on a, a national television show and wanted us to perform for the Guru of India uh, who was visiting the United States. But uh, it was a big birthday party, but there were people, you know, like uh, oh, I'm S Bill Cos Felicia Rashad from okay. the Cosby Show and Bobby McFerrin and the New York Philharmonic. So it was a legit sort of event, and uh, it led to all kinds of things. We're actually going to be performing again for her now at Christmas and allegedly will be in India next year performing for her. So <laughs> it's a, she's part of a city yoga foundation. It's a, a lineage of, uh, she's the head guru um, or master of uh, a meditation style that goes back thousands of years. And she's got quite a few influential followers in the United States. So she just says, I want you to dance at my birthday party and, and we you do, dance. We jump, yeah. I think she was going to ask me to. <laughs> cater it or something, but it never worked <laughs> out. But we have a clip from that, so I think we're going to take a look at the clip right sure. now. And, uh, yeah. We'll watch. <laughs> So that, that was one of the numbers you did for the guru? Yep, that's one of the numbers for the guru. How the long year. did you play for the guru? Uh, we, we did a, a I like saying guru. <laughs> <laughs> we did uh, two four minute numbers for her and uh, there was an entire entourage of entertainment as I told you the yeah. off camera, the Philharmonic Orchestra. And, and so, but it didn't stop there, you also went on to do a full feature film and be no. on the Johnny Carson show. Well, yeah, we were on the well, I mean, we did that, but we weren't. <laughs> sure. It wasn't were. a film about us. We well, were just back you were in it. That's yeah. the nerve that they didn't do it about us. But I was thinking about doing a full, like, like a yeah, ten-hour whole thing documentary yeah. on you, but it's in the works. The but you guys did backdraft. We were in it. We were in it. How you doing tonight, Mr. Twinkie? I'm all right, Toth. How are you? I'm doing real good. Have you, have you met Mr. Mark Howard? From no, I haven't. I just came up for the first time, Jim Toth. What do you think? Uh, I thought maybe backstage. No, I don't. I don't concern myself with that. Yeah, uh, Mr. Mark Howard. How do you do, my friend? How are you doing, Mr. Twinkie? I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, so what's going on up here, Toth? We were right in the middle of talking about something when you rudely played your music. 
Sorry to do and that, but you know how I am, my friend. When I have something to say, I have something to say. Were you, were you in backdraft? No, no, I wasn't. Uh, I didn't even see that movie. I don't like Ron Howard. Uh, ever since Opie, that kind of turned me off. Anyone named Opie, uh, you got to watch. Yeah, laugh, clown laugh. Um, no, but I heard you talking about an Indian guru. I was performing at that show. That's funny, I didn't see you there. Uh, it's funny he didn't see you either. Well, no, I was on early. The guru likes the blue sort of humor, and I came on and did a lot of... You know, potty humor, if you will. That lady's got a blue streak like nobody's business going through her. <laughs> How did that go over with the uh, guru? Oh, it went great, went great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to hear, good to but hear. But I was out of there right after that. You know, I got a lot of busy things to do, my friend. I know another guy you like, Ed McMahon, who is Johnny Carson's sidekick. Uh, Mark Howard was on the Carson show. Was that three times? Yeah, a couple wow. times. Yeah. He's kind of like Ed McMahon. Yeah, so well, show. don't, he doesn't like. Yeah. He's just kidding around. No, he's a little fatter than I am. Plus, he drinks scotch, I drink vodka, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Two which years. one drinks more is the question. Well, that's, I am a sponge, so there you go. <laughs> but but uh, I think I'll just go back down there. Sorry to hear you were on the Johnny Carson show, that dried up old fossil. <laughs> <laughs> wow! But, uh, <laughs> no, I do like the Irish dancing. I like that very much. Especially, you know, a couple drinks. Uh, you need a little entertainment. Thanks, Twinkie. Mark can sleep a lot easier tonight knowing that you appreciate his dancing. Well, you know, a good review from a good entertainer like myself will help. Uh, I'm out of here, my friends. Uh, All right, see you I'm later. making dinner. Tote, do you have any brandy I could use for this uh, sauce? No, I do have some root beer, though. No, no, go. thanks, thanks. I need some. Oh, oh hey. I do need some brandy. Bill Talk to you later. See you later, Mr. Twinkie. Oh. <laughs> well, that was. So your your experience on the Carson show wasn't as Twinkie depicted it. It was a little bit more fun than <laughs> a true old fossil. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope they don't see this footage. No, I really that, don't yeah. think Carson sits around and watches this show. <laughs> I hate. I don't know think. if we'll be on this march. You know, yeah. if they see this. Plus, he'll probably be dead by the time we get it in count. <laughs> Did I say that? I am so sorry. <laughs> no, we love Johnny Carr. <laughs> but that was, that must have been cool. That was, that was very cool. That was Who a lot else of fun. was, the dancers came on the show with you? Yeah, when they, when they, in 87, when they won that world title, they invited us to come on the show, and then I was surprised the second time they called us again, and then in 90, we went back, and they, they, I mean, now they've told us we're just going to be regular guests, but. Really? Uh, at St. Patrick's Day, you know, okay. March 17th, yeah. that we're, we're very popular at so that you time, got and that then everybody time forgets book. about us the rest of the year. Yeah, well. Yeah, maybe, who knows, they might not ask us, but maybe we'll be on there this St. Patty's Day. Well. Hopefully. It's fun. We're going to wait to see you on there. We appreciate you coming out tonight. We, I think we Thank ran you. out of time. So uh, if, you, uh, if you're interested in getting involved with the Irish Dance Company, just come on over to Grand Avenue School. You're in the basement over there. Mm-hmm. Tuesday the, nights. Okay, great. Well, Mr. Howard, thank you. thank you for coming out. We'll thank see you. You. Thanks a lot. We'll be right back. This guy. Welcome back to Color TV. I'm your host, Jim Toad, sort of. That was, you know, just like a standard. And this is Brick Street, and this is John. John, you can maybe step up to this mic and introduce everyone, and I'll just kind of stand back okay. and step on your cord. Oh! It's Holly on vocals, Gavin on keyboards and percussion, the digital percussion, Brad on percussion, Bill on bass, and Andy on drums. That's, you know, I, I find that extremely fascinating that none of you had last names. Uh, we don't like last names. Okay. Well, the, what's, what's the name of the song here tonight? Uh, it's called Getting Older. Getting Older. And that's about probably getting older? Yeah. Really? Pretty much. So what's, this is kind of awkward standing around like this waiting for this song to come on. But if you guys, you know, I mean, if you guys could kind of think of a future goal, do you guys want to stick with it or? Yeah, we definitely all want to stick with this. And pretty soon we have a album length tape coming out on cassette. Cool. And a two song single coming out on record. So. Well, maybe when that comes out, we'll come back. Have you back on for a little like release party? I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not into this kind of stuff. <laughs> it's music. 
why don't you guys play this song for me and maybe I'll come back out and, and, and talk to you again. It's Brick Street. <laughs> that song that was actually really cool <laughs> he's sweating like a pig almost <laughs> that's Bill right that's Bill Bill do you gotta do some like electro I don't know something oh, Jim when he expects that first public appearance well let's seriously that was really good thank you guys a lot for coming out anything else we can expect in the future what well, the look for Madison some shows okay you want me to look for Madison Square Garden? Garden. Yeah, see if you can find it. You know, tell us where it is. You can find it. I believe it's in New Hampshire or something. But I'll find. I'll get on there. I'll get my atlas and whatnot. But ladies and gentlemen, again, let's thank Brick Street for coming out. Thank you guys. We'll be right back with more Color TV.
Bill, that was beautiful. Oh, that was even prettier. You like it? Yeah, but you seem to have changed clothes and done your hair differently since the last seg. Where were you? Oh, I had a date with Opie. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, Bill. How was it? It's nice. Well, I would like you to meet Matt Moran and Andy Turk. Hi, how Matt. you guys doing tonight? Good. Matt, Andy, how you doing? So you guys are some of uh, Western Springs finest video kids yeah. who have done uh, a video about train safety. Yeah. What kind of train safety? Um, like crossing, like not crossing the tracks when there's a train coming or something like that. Like if you're a pedestrian? Yeah. Walking across the tracks? Yeah. Like what might happen if you did? Yeah. Ooh, pretty scary stuff, huh, Bill? Ooh. <laughs> didn't, didn't you do that one day? Yeah. Did you get hurt or not? Uh, yeah. See, Bill needed to see that video long before you guys made it. So, how how long did it take you guys to? Well, we like it took us a long time to set up the scenery, but once we got the scenery set up, it took us like we took a Saturday, and it took us like five hours. Five hours. It's a long day. Did you guys bring it with you so we could kind of take a look at it? Yeah. How about we roll the clip? And what's it called before we go to it? Uh, the Wrong Decision. The Wrong Decision? Yeah. And you guys and John Davey and Brendan Moran, who are coming out later, helped us, helped you with, yeah. I didn't work on it. <laughs> I wanted to, but they wouldn't let me in the studio. So let's take a look at The Wrong Decision. Tommy, the average 10-year-old, turning home from date school. He wants to hurry up so he can get his homework done on time. Should I go? Yeah, it's safe. Remember, trains can't stop. Great video, but I had nothing to do with it. Bill, we don't play when we come back yeah, in from a clip. <laughs> Is he a moron? <laughs> Speaking of Moran, Brendan Moran. It's like weird how these kids just turned into other people. And John Davey, how are you guys doing? Well, that was a wonderful video. Kind of explained how not to cross the tracks and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, now you, excuse me, Bill, can, can, I'm trying to do an interview with these guys. So now you, this video just didn't, you just didn't do it to do it. This actually got some big awards going for you guys. Yeah, well. Like the biggest awards. Well, we got, um, we got some video. We, Metro found out about it. Okay. Like, um, and they, um, well, they, they gave us some awards. Well, we went on Operation Lifesaver train ride. Okay. And it was, uh, um. It was, we missed a day of school. Oh, cool! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, <laughs> well, let's show the awards. Well, got let's this. See the awards. We got We got a couple other awards. Okay. We well, I'll show this one first. Now, this is from the state of Illinois secretary, secretary of the state of Illinois, George Ryan. And that's Matt Moran's, but you guys each got one of these buttes, huh? Yeah. You know, yeah. he's got two first names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Speaking of two first names, this is another picture of George Ryan. And with all you guys, including the two guys that disappeared. And your instructor for Video Kids, Tom Sullivan. Who? Tom <laughs> Sullivan. Who? This guy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. So you guys all went down. It didn't know, was this downstate or was this around here? Well, it, it went around the Chicago area. Yeah. Well, to uh, Joliet, up to Elgin. Wow, so you guys are like soup. You guys are cooler than I am. <laughs> Can you believe that? I would that? go that far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Little, little Twinkies, 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 and when you go, he's rude. It's been to yell and tear out your eyes, step in your guts and tell it's a lies, and what do you know? He's Twinkies. Hi, Mr. Twinkie. How you doing tonight? Yeah, I love you too. Pretty good. Talk. How are you tonight? Uh, I don't know. Like the audience 
is gone. They are gone. What do you mean, wasted? No, no, like left. <laughs> oh, well, that's not But we still one. got a couple strag. How about some noise from the stragglers? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, get that guy another pitcher of beer, huh? Yeah. Jeez. Well, we got the uh, video kids out here, the uh, Brendan Moran and John Davy, who made that award. Did you see it? The uh, the yeah, I saw the uh, not to, you know the not to cross when there's a train coming. I thought it was pretty good, uh, cause as they know, as I know, that there are a lot of numbskulls out there that would try and cross while the gates were down or something. They go through, go around the gates and they try Twinkie. and get, hold, yes. Hold on. The other day, me and you were driving. You said, Toth, Toth, I'm gonna go around the gates and show you how fast my car goes." Wait, well, you guys just made a video about it in your. That was a bit of machismo that I had wait, wait, there. Wait, isn't it illegal to drive without hands? Bill, it is, but we're not. We want to keep that down. Uh, so yeah, yeah, especially with a picture of George Ryan around here. Uh, uh yeah, I mean. So, Mr. Twinkie. Yeah. How's your friend uh, Lamb Chop? Well, let me go. Lamb Chop, get the hell up here, Lamb Chop. You guys remember Lamb Chop? Okay, here I come. Yeah, 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 here I come. Hi, Lamb Chop. Hi. So, Twinkie, are, uh, what are you guys having for dinner tonight? Well, uh, you know, I tried to cook up something special uh, for Lamb Chop. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> well, uh, you know, Jim, I hate to do this. Yeah? But, uh... What? I'm having Lamb Chop for dinner! Oh, my God! Ah! Bill! Ah! 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 Okay. Bill's in shock. <coughs> Sick. Well, I think that's all the time we could, if I had a watch on it, it would probably be time. Do you guys have any are you guys working on anything else for the future? Are we expecting anything else more well, from we're you? We're working on a shoplifting video. Shoplift. Is it gonna gotta be long and it's not for shoplifting, is it? Like how to do it? <laughs> no. Like an instructional cassette? No, no, I get good instructional. Okay. Well, I thank you guys for coming out. <laughs> you can both shake it at the same time. It's cool. Uh, Bill, you want to take us out? Yeah. And thank you very much for coming out. Tune in next week for some more Color TV.